All right, hi, this is James with the One Hour Smart Home, and today we are going to show you uh, how to determine if your thermostat needs a common wire. So you're going to go to the technical info tab here, and uh, we'll let it adjust there. And once you're inside here, it's got a couple different items. We're going to click on power, and basically how you determine if you need a common wire is you can look at two things. The battery voltage up here, usually if it's over 3.6, you probably don't need a common wire. And the other one is this LIN. Um, if it is over 20, you usually don't need a common wire. So here's where it gets tricky. If your LIN is 20, you could possibly need a common wire or you may not need a common wire. So how do you know if you need one? Well, if you've set it up and the thermostat isn't working and you're getting a 20 MA reading, you probably need a common wire. But if you set it up and your battery voltage is reading above 3.6 or right at 3.6 or maybe a little bit above and LIN 20, mil 20 MA, you might be okay without a common wire. So what you could do is just hook it up, let the thermostat run. And if it runs fine for a couple weeks, you most likely are fine and you don't need to get a common wire installed. However, right when you install the thermostat, if it is not working um, and you're getting those readings, you are going to need to get a common wire. And we show you how to install a common wire in another video. We're gonna include the links below. And there's a couple different ways that you can do it. You could wire a new common wire in, or you could get a common wire adapter. So we'll also include that. But that is how you tell if you need a common wire, you can look at this LIN voltage as well as this battery voltage. So the LIN right there and the battery. Thanks for watching onehoursmarthome.com. Please subscribe, like this video, and we will see you next time.